my friends always make fun of me because my favorite gift is when they bring me their garbage. What do you say to people who think trash can't be art? I'm out here to challenge the world. And there's a whole history of artists that have used unconventional materials. Trash can be a beautiful flower or a raccoon. I wanted to make a tulip today. One of my favorite materials that I've been playing with a lot are spray paint caps. <laughs> so this is a garden hose? Yeah. It looks like it was a plastic bottle. Did you melt it? Cut down the bottle, making these slits. I'm using a heat gun. It's like magic. Let it get a little hot, it's ready. And I kind of do it in the middle so that it'll come towards. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes they'll go in. Okay, this heat does no joke. It'll, 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 it'll come towards you or Isn't away. It colder? Yeah. There's no wrong way to Your do it. Your flower loves you. My flower was like, put down the heat gun and walk away. So we've got our stem, our petals. The last part is leaves. This is lovely. Trash reborn. The fastest way to my heart is flowers. Well, <laughs> second fastest. The fastest way is cookies. The second fastest is giving me flowers. And I've never had a flower like this before. Plarn, so plastic bag yarn. Oh, you no. want to try making plarn? Yeah. Roll it up like a taco. She knows if she uses food references, yeah. <laughs> I'll understand. I cut the end of the bag off, cutting one inch strips. With this loop, I'm going to use to We're make gonna my yarn. We're going to do cat's cradle? Pretty much, <laughs> just with the next link. This is how I explain it to kids, but you have a little snake. He goes through the hole, back out and back through his tail. And those begin to make my links for my yarn. Snake goes into his uh -huh. hole and then he comes back out and then he finds his oh, tail. New, new, new piece, for the <laughs> new piece. <laughs> you saw how long it took me to do one loop. You are making hundreds. I want to give people some perspective. This is a plarn shamu. <laughs> how long does something like this take you? Most of the time that is spent making my work is collecting the material. So I want to show you what I've been working on here. I'm working on making a dolphin. I'm not sure, is this a beluga? He's this a guy is <laughs> massive! <laughs> He's probably about uh, five feet long so far. Uh, the whale behind us is I think 17 feet. And then I just start crocheting, so I'm just using a crochet needle and sit at home and watch TV. I asked to see these little crabs and what I would call little Sebastians over here. Yes. You've been doing some cool stuff with Disney. Well, they're celebrating the 30th anniversary of The Little Mermaid and they want to inspire their audiences to rethink how we use plastic from the ocean. I flew out to Santa Monica and did a promo with the Disney Channel talking about creative reuse and they asked me to sculpt an aerial out of the garbage that we collected from the beach. That's like uh, childhood called her dream coming true. <laughs> Absolutely. You mentioned a giant whale on the wall. Let's go check that out. Sure. And we can inspire our audiences with your story of how this all came to be. <laughs> you were first making art and sculptures of animals. You were using clay. So what made you want to start using trash as your medium? I have always been an artist and ever since I was a little girl, uh, was totally infatuated by the natural world, grew up here in Austin, and took lots of pride in our local species, our salamander, Barton Springs, and I would sculpt these animals in a uh, Sculpey. Yeah. It's a plastic clay. I went to the Kansas City Art Institute uh, to study ceramics and art history. After uh, graduating from college, I started to ask myself some serious questions about my materials mm -hmm. and my practice. Could the materials be a better part of the message that I was trying to speak? Clay is literally earth that we we're ripping out. Oddly enough, the story is uh, I started taking up birding. Um, started just watching the animals. I was about to say, yeah. when we say birding, <laughs> you mean like what I do from my porch on Sunday nights? Exactly. Kansas City is in the middle of the Midwest, so it's ma massive fly space for migratory birds. Yeah. And became fascinated by the birds that would visit my yard. Um, started feeding them. We have a serious yeah. birder in the midst, y'all. This is no joke. And I noticed that, and I'm sure many people have noticed, that birds will use trash to build their nest. Mm -hmm. She makes hundreds and hundreds of trips in a day, yeah. but within a short radius. So what did this teach you? That nature doesn't waste. And that's a totally human, cultural thing. And I thought to myself, why can't I be more like the birds? 
So the first project I created was called the Synanthropes Station. Uh, and Synanthropes are animals that thrive in the human world. Okay, good. This is also a nature lesson, <laughs> just so you know. So syn, symbiosis, anthrope with man. Mm -hmm. So they are thriving in the human world. So I would collect refuse um, in my neighborhood for birds to reuse to build their nests. Mm -hmm. So I made these pods out of clay and put the trash um, in the pods and the birds would use it and build their nest in that tree. So I collaborated with these birds to make their architecture. You, yes, we're a cool <laughs> collaborator with nature and how much you must learn in that process about the way we all affect each other. Most definitely. Um, just because you throw it away doesn't mean it goes away. So I think that's such a powerful message and part of why I'm so in love with your art is because sometimes people forget that. They put it in a recycling bin or a trash can and they think, oh, that's the end of that. But that's just the end of your relationship with it. It goes on and plastic, we know, doesn't even really degrade. So if I can do anything by making these beautiful objects out of trash is to help people rethink about these byproducts and that they are something that we can reuse yeah. and give new life to. We're leaving a massive mess for the next generation. Mm -hmm. Through my art, I have this creative gift. Can I give them hope? Can I give them inspiration? What do you wish people knew about the life cycle of plastic? So it doesn't biodegrade, it photodegrades. It breaks down into smaller and smaller particles, so we're ingesting it. More and more studies have come out. It's not just impacting animals, it's in our bodies as well. And that's what most concerned me, it was getting these materials out of the environment. I had trouble collecting plastic bags once I returned home to Austin because we had the ban until 2018. And what was most exciting about my processes is that I had to ask my community to help me collect the waste. And I've received boxes from all over the United States, people sending me their bags, and me having a conversation with people I wouldn't know otherwise about how can we reuse these materials and giving them essentially hope. What's one of the most clever ways you've turned trash into art? Birth control packets, koozies, cutlery, plastic bags, bread tabs. And that's what's so great is you're bringing new life to the things that we call waste and then taking them out of this cycle of becoming garbage. So some of the issues you've discussed, pollution, climate change, big global issues, You've also talked about the hope that's been instilled in you. Do you think they're solvable? It's our responsibility. We must absolutely tackle them, whatever the outcome may be. I think we have to be uh, creative and courageous yeah. with the future. And you are both of those things, <laughs> and a whole lot more. It's just art that touches you long after you leave the studio. An example of that, with the first time that we met, you gave me a flower <laughs> that I have not forgotten. One, because I thought it was the sweetest gesture, but two, because of the message that of these plastic bags being wasted or this straw just going to another landfill. It's the gift that keeps on giving. You can, find, you can find beauty anywhere. Every, anywhere. We can just keep it going. Calder, thank you so much oh, for your absolutely. time today.